Hey guys, this is Matt at 4hydroponics.com and today we're going to be talking about some of the differences in HID bulbs. So the first light we're going to talk about is the metal halide bulb. Metal halide bulbs are usually used in vegetative growth. They're known for giving you very short, stocky, very thick stems, big healthy leaves. Um, this ideally will give you a really healthy plant and a really good structured plant to flower uh, or to fruit and that structure will help support heavier fruits and flowers during that period of time. They won't want to flop over as much, they won't want to bend and break as much because they're going to have a better structure and just a healthier growth all around. The great universal bulb if you're doing indoor like trees or indoor succulents or anything like that, metal halides are more replicating the daylight spectrum, the more of the early spring, uh, early summer spectrum. So they tend to give you more of a vegetative growth and the plants don't tend to want to flower or bloom as much. Um, so that can help with some of those trees and some of those household plants that might you might want to get a little bit bigger before they start trying to make uh, flowers or fruits. Um, next up we'll talk about is the HPS bulb down here. This HPS is mostly for flowering. Um, keep in mind in HPS is going to be an orange and red bulb where the metal halide is going to be more of a blue and white bulb. The HPS bulb being orange and red mimics more of a late uh, summer, early fall light which helps trigger the plant's natural instinct to flower or fruit. So by changing the bulb and changing light cycles on a plant you can really help trigger some of those cool blooms on trees and plants that flower um, and also on some fruiting plants if you're trying to get them to produce fruits a little bit more vigorously you can help change the light out and that, was, that seems to help quite a bit. Um, keep in mind with cheaper HPS bulbs, you're going to get a lot of orange and red, which really does help with yield. So you'll end up getting the same yield as some of the other uh, quality bulbs out there. But the extra blues and greens like that come from something like a metal halide that are mixed into a higher quality HPS bulb, that's going to give you a better overall quality flavor, aroma, turpin profile, things like that. So getting a higher quality HPS bulb for your flower or fruit is a really good idea because that extra blue and green just ups your quality quite a bit and the yield should be you know, substantial. Next up we'll talk about the dual arc bulbs. There's a cheaper version of a dual arc bulb right here, the Sun Master, I'm sorry, the Ultra Sun, I apologize, and then the, uh, the dual arc by Hortolux, the higher end version of them. Both are great bulbs. Um, the price difference is you know, pretty good, so if you want to get into one, I like to try the cheaper one first just to see how you like it, and then if you really like it, you can move up to maybe a nicer model. Um, the dual arc bulbs have a 400 watt metal halide in the front and a 600 watt HPS in the back, so you're getting kind of the best of both worlds. The mixed spectrum is going to ideally give you the same yield as an HPS, but with the quality of flowering under something more of a metal halide. Keep in mind that blue light is really what's increasing that quality. So if you get more blue light into your room during your fruiting and flowering process, you should be getting more flavor and aroma. Um, and that comes from just trying to replicate the sunlight. The sunlight is extremely complete. It doesn't really, it's not more blue or more red, it's just extremely complete. So plants respond to that more mixed, complete spectrum. So if you can get them in there, it's a good idea. This is a cool way to get that mixed spectrum in there with just one bulb instead of having to have multiple points of, sort, uh, points of light. Um, you can just put this one bulb in. I'd recommend end running them uh, kind of like nose to end. That way the HPS kind of covers the blue and the blue kind of covers the HPS or the metal halide. And uh, as a single bulb, I I see tend you see uh, you tend to see more of a blue growth in the front of the bulb and more of a HPS growth in the back of the bulb. But when there's multiple of these bulbs in the room covering each other's spectrum, it's a really really high quality spectrum, and you get some really good yields and really high quality fruits and flowers. So a really cool bulb. Check them out. And then last but not least, we're going to talk about the 10,000K bulb. Um, these are more unique to the industry. Only a couple brands make them, and they're ideally for more finishing. Um, the 10,000K is going to give you ideally more oil, more resin, more flavor, more aroma. So a lot of people will use these in conjunction with other bulbs throughout their cycle, or they will use these specifically at the end of a cycle, maybe the last week to two weeks. You do want to experiment with how long you need to use these to see results. I don't think that putting them in there for a couple days is going to do much. You might need to see more of a couple weeks or maybe a week to 10 days before you see any kind of extra results out of using something as what they call a finishing bulb. Um, but they're also a pretty big in industries like aquariums and succulents 
plant gardening and a couple other different you know house varieties plants um, seem to really like the 10,000 K um, that's more of a you know fuller spectrum and a little bit more bright white um, so all uh, do very specific things they all work really well together if you can mix these bulbs in any way you'll see some really good healthy growth but they also have some really good specific uses and if you can keep them you know using them for specific uses you can really dial in um, your plants transitions and hormones and get them to do exactly what you want them to do when you want them to do it. They're, these bulbs come in a variety of wattages, 1000 watt, um, 600 watt, 400 watt, 250 watt, some down to 150 watt, even 750 now these days. Um, and so check our website out, there's a lot of different options and brands, makes, models, and I really recommend getting the right bulb um, for your, your garden and you'll see a world of difference. The light's kind of like your engine, so definitely uh, you know, think about putting some energy into picking up a really good light and you should see the fruits of that um, choice. So um, all available on our website for hydroponics.com. I hope this video really helped you guys out. Check out our other videos and we'll see you next time.